Hey guys, Dale here, back with another RimWorld how-to. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys how I prepare my game for a brand new modded playthrough. Uh, in a previous how-to video, I showed you guys how I back up my save files, my config files, all that fun stuff, my mods. Um, and so I'm going to assume that you have done everything that you need to do to save all of those settings that, that you would like to save, save your save files. Uh, but in between each game, uh, I pretty much just like blow away almost everything. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to options and I'm going to open up my log file folder. Uh, so this will bring you to your RimWorld folder. RimWorld by Ludeon Studios. And I've backed up everything that I want from here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete pretty much everything. Well, all these folders anyway. Uh, so select them all and delete. Um, they are gone. Actually, why did my saves not empty? Well, it did empty. Um, the folder is just still there. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and quit the game and restart it. And you'll notice that it's going to load up pretty quickly uh, because we don't have any mods to load or anything like that. Uh, oh, I had some junk open in some other windows. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit play and this will load up. So uh, deleting all the things from that folder is my step one on starting a brand new modded, modded game. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start unsubscribing from the mods that I'm not going to carry forward into the next playthrough. And you can see RimWorld popped up right away. The resolution's a little wonky. Things look a little wonky here. Uh, sound is probably going to be a little loud, uh, but we'll get that all fixed. Actually, let's do that first. So if we go into options, um, we have all kinds of stuff in here that I probably have adjusted previously, right? So um, we can go to options, log file folder, and we have a config folder. So I have previous versions of my configs saved. I'm going to go ahead and delete what's here now, and I'm going to bring over the config files that I know that I'm going to be using. Uh, so my key bindings and my other preferences. Uh, and we, when we talk about other preferences, we're talking about the settings that are uh, here in the options menu. Uh, now that I have those all set, uh, I can close this and I'll restart the game again. Okay, hitting play on that. And then let's bring up our mods. So on Steam, uh, you have your files, files you posted, your favorites, your subscribed items. Um, I know that there are certain mods that I bring forward with me through all my playthroughs. If you know that you're not bringing forward your current mods in any way, uh, you do have this unsubscribe from all button. And so that'll just like blast away your entire subscription list. Um, if you were to uh, do that, then it's just like complete zero starting from scratch. I, since I know that there are mods that I'll bring with me, um, what I'm going to do is actually, let's do this. Um, I'm going to go to the very back of the list and I'm like, oh, am I going to use Asimov next? Uh, if I was going to use it, I would leave it there. If not, I would just unsubscribe from it and then I would hit the next page. And the reason that I start from the back is let's say, let's say we're not going to use tweaks galore, which I pretty much use every playthrough. If we hit unsubscribe and refresh page 28 now brings forward, uh, you know, the items from the previous page. And so if you were to, uh, start unsubscribing from the first page, then you would refresh on the first page. You'd still have maybe like half of these mods listed. And then the bottom half of the list would be carried forward from page two. And so that gets a little chunky. Whereas like, if I know that I'm done removing mods from this page, I can just go to the next page and start unsubscribing. Any gaps that we fill in or leave here because we've unsubscribed to mods, 
will come from mods that were on a page that we've already reviewed. So we know we can just go to the next page. We know we can go to page 26, unsubscribe to mods here, um, and so forth. So now that we are all blown away, um, if we click in here, we can take a look. Um, you know, hugs live updated at 1245, our save folder a minute before that, um, because the game recreated it right away. And then our config files, we can see that this was last updated like two minutes later. So we know that these are the config files that we, we brought over. The other thing to maybe bring over is if there are mods that you're bringing over and you have saved configs for them, like I've saved the config for tweaks galore, I can drop that in here. And I would like to not just drop that in there. I'd also like to have copies of them. So I'm going to keep a copy over here. Um, if you are like me and you use uh, the extended planning mod, uh, maybe there are plans from previous playthroughs that you want to import into your game. Uh, or maybe there are plans that I've posted on GitHub that you'd like to bring into your game. Um, we don't have a planning folder yet because we haven't saved any plans in our current playthrough. We don't actually even have like any mods configured in our current playthrough, right? Um, so what you can do is you can create that planning folder. Um, folder planning. And then with that planning folder, you can import some files, right? So let me open up desktop. We will go to this like RimWorld archive folder, Mechive Priya, and the RimWorld folder that I saved there. Planning folder, it's spelled the same. The casing is the same. Uh, let's say I wanted to bring all the Mechive Priya plans over. I can just copy and paste those in here. And then when I'm in game and have extended planning, um, I should be able to uh, hit the import option and paste these plans down. So uh, that's pretty much how I prep my game for a brand new playthrough. Um, that's all there is to it. I kind of, I blow away my RimWorld folder. I get rid of the mods that I'm not going to be working on. And then I'll bring back in certain config files and then I'll bring back in any plans that I want to use, or maybe I'm not using them, maybe I'm just referencing them so that I can change those plans for a new playthrough. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. As always, until next time, have a good one. Bye.